What's cooking, Bunny and Life Movement? JJ Ramos here. Welcome back to YouTube, welcome back to my channel, and welcome again to Advocacy Friday. Of course, it's the usual SOP around here. We get to feature one of my blog posts, and after a sponsor break, the objection of the week. Now, <clears throat> I got a very, um, what do you call this? Health centered blog post feature for you today. Uh, the title of the blog post is called A Lesson from the Hospital. Right? <clears throat> My dad at that time was already confined for um, uh, the fifth time. Right? The fifth time already. It was his final time, actually. Uh, he's got, he had uh, kidney problems since uh, June, June 2014, his kidney problems, it's, June 2014 was the time when his kidney problems started, all right? <clears throat> then July, he started uh, doing dialysis. Then, <clears throat> a series, then, the, then his series of confinements started in February 2015, between February 2015, February and July 2015, it was confined five times. Okay, the time I uh, wrote this blog post was I think that was during his final time, final time of confinement. He he died in the hospital actually. <clears throat> there was one lesson I really learned, and up to now, and up to this day, I still carry that lesson. Do not be over dependent on prescription drugs. Most especially the anti-arthritic ones, right? My dad was proof that anti-arthritic drugs, if you take them, if you become, if you become too over-dependent on, too dependent on them, this happens: kidney problems, dialysis, and well, unfortunately for my dad, death. All right. <clears throat> The biggest moral lesson for me uh, from my dad's death was if you can take the pain, take it. All right? <clears throat> if the pain is too debilitating, that's the only time you should take those anti arthritic drugs. All right? Ang father ko kasi, konting kirut lang sa tuhod, Voltaren 500 agad. Yung 500 milligrams of Voltaren, all right? I even convinced him to to just use the topical version of uh, Voltaren. Kasi may, may, oint, may cream siya. May cream siya kong ointment eh. O, ointment pala. <clears throat> because it's safer and it's directly... And it, um, and it directly affects the uh, affected area, all right? Hindi na kailangan dumaan sa bloodstream, hindi na kailangan dumaan sa digestive system mo. Kasi diretso, it's topical. So, papay, isang pahid lang. But, but, due to my, my dad's hard-headedness, he went against my advice. He went against my advice. Kasi kung tutusin nyo, mas safer ang Volta rin na cream, na topical. Kasi, hindi na siya dadaan sa sa digestive system or sa bloodstream mo eh. Diretso na siya sa affected area. At the molecular level, it's doing its work na. Okay. <clears throat> so up to now, I... Uh, up to now, I have that lesson. Kung kaya kong tiisin yung, yung pain, hindi ako... hindi ako iinom ng kahit anong ano pain reliever. Kung kaya ko. But if the pain is too debilitating, I got no choice. I have to take it. Okay? Kung talagang hindi na ako makagalaw sa sobrang sakit, that's the only time. Of course. Of course. Yeah, basically, <clears throat> that's the... Uh... No. That's not it yet. Alright? Now, you know, I'll just repeat what I said as advice to you guys, right? 
if you can take the pain, don't take pain relievers. Right? As long as you can take the pain, as long as the pain doesn't uh, doesn't stop you from moving, do not take those pain relievers. Okay. <clears throat> so that's my take on the featured blog post. It's time for the objection of the week. But first, a word from our sponsors. What's up, guys? JG here. I want to uh, want to pitch this co-working venue right now. It's called Workspace. Okay? It's located here in the heart of Pasita One. And well, so far I'm, uh, I'm pretty satisfied well with their service and the amenities. Okay, let, let's show you. Let me show you. We're actually in the uh, we're actually in the conference room. Uh saan pwede kayong mag-avail ng mga seminar packages. Alright. I'm seriously considering, okay? I'm seriously considering their seminar packages kasi minsan group meeting or if the if uh, if funds are enough, this is opportunity meeting. Right? This is the opportunity. Up and down. Okay, pero kasi hindi sila. So let me show you the, yeah, the main work area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm currently batch producing episodes right now for Goku Friday, and uh, I've seen a lot of co-working venues, pero layo eh, ang layo sa pasita. Until I found this one, it was a good choice. Okay, a lot of it's a, best, it's a very positive environment, okay? very conducive for influencers like me. All right, I don't have to I don't have to batch for those episodes in a mall anymore. Okay, na nasisitahin ka paminsan minsan. If you're an, if you're a, if you're a vlogger like me, you I, I bet you've experienced that before. All right, so kumuti pa maginvest na lang kayo or a co-working space para tayo nyo kayo makakapag-batch po doon sa mga episode nyo. They, they, they allow it na. Okay. That's the work area. Ito, ano na, marami silang mga outlets. Okay. Either pwede kang makapag-charge ng cellphone or, like in my case, nakakabit yung laptop ko. Okay. I don't have to bring the battery anymore. So, self-service. Let me show you the self-service. Okay. Pasapan na ko, pasapan na co-working kay dito, di pa yung kape. Okay. Tsaka yung deep snacks yan. Deep snacks ano? Pasapan na co-working ka. Or just a coffee. Okay. At least yung coffee libre. <laughs> so, here's the cell service area. Right. Now, yung rates nila, medyo. Yung rates nila, uh, competitive, affordable. Now, uh, if you plan to <clears throat> set up group meetings. Okay. Ito na lang kayo. Kaysa nung... Kaysa yung usual style na either Jollibee, Magdo, or Max. Kaya mapagasos pa kayo. Alright? Mapagasos pa kayo. If it's a quick... Uh, a quick BOM or business opportunity meeting, mga 3 hours, kaya na yun. Kahit na sila kumain. Alright? So, remember the name. Workspace. Alright? Now, uh, Okay, so, what's that? Remember the name, Workspace, all right? Check it later. Oh, so bad, my sponsors. <laughs> now, <clears throat> it's time for the objection of the week. So, what's our objection? So, so what's the objection of the week? Can I have that brochure? Okay. <clears throat> if you're into real estate, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. I used to sell real estate myself. I was for... Uh, my first real estate company was Phil Estate. Then Laguna Properties, which is now known as Avida. 
Then I also did uh, work for Century 21 when they were still here, all right? When they were still here during the late 90s. And I also did, uh, I also did work for Centennial Guardian. Okay? Memorial, Memorial, that's the one of the Now, <clears throat> here's the most common objection real estate agents and brokers encounter. Can I have that brochure instead? Okay. When I, during my early years, uh, into selling such, selling such products, I would just give them the brochure. <laughs> without, without explanation, without, uh, without any excuses, maybe I'll send them the brochure. Right? Na, meron, of course, meron contact info ko. Okay? I don't give brochures out pag wala pang contact info ko. Right? <clears throat> Here's the bad thing about it. Ano ang guarantee mo na kukontak ang kanila? Anong guarantee mo? Right? The brochure only promotes the company and the product. Not you. Not you. Not you as the, uh, the agent or the broker. Ano ni paala mo, contact na mo, but that's it. That's just five to ten percent of the total information the prospect needs the prospect needs to see to be exact that's only five percent the other 95 percent young company and product now even in network marketing i've encountered this objection most particularly pag yung, pag yung product ng binibenta ko pag ang um, product ng pinipitch ko now fast forward today if I would, hmm, sumingit pa phone ko, mamaya na yan. <laughs> Kapag, uh, if I were to encounter that kind of, that, that objection again, right now, here's, a, here's how I would do it. Sabi natin na babae yung prospect. Ma'am, okay po itong brochure namin, but what's it gonna take for, for me to, uh, present the entire thing to you now. What's it gonna take? Right? Kung nagmamadali yung prospect, alright? Kung nagmamadali yung prospect, what's it gonna take for me to tell them? What's it gonna take for me to present this to you now? Ay, ano sama? Now, worst case scenario, <clears throat> kapag na-present ko na, and the prospect still wants the brochure, Here's how I would do it. Ma'am, we've already, we've already discussed it. We've already discussed everything. What's it gonna take for you to decide now? What's it gonna take for, oh, instead of decide now, that's, uh, that's probably too straightforward. But if you're, that would, that would, that would probably work for, uh, a completely uneducated prospect, uneducated about the matter, okay, about real estate. If if it were a more affluent prospect or or yung sanay na bumili ng mga ng ganong product, you would do you would do it this way, ma'am. <clears throat> we've we've talked it over already. What's it gonna take for us to move forward? What's it gonna take for us to move forward to well to to get on with the to get on with our uh, to get on with the real business relationship right what's it going to take for us to move forward that's how i would do it okay that's how i would do it let me have my coffee first that's how i would do it okay Kung mamadali ang prospect, the what's it gonna take questions will uh, will probably catch the prospect's attention. Ngayari, let, let's go over it again. Kapag nagmamadali, tanong nyo, what's it gonna take for me to to present it to you now? Ngayon, kung nakalaki pag-appointment, okay, during the appointment, na-present mo, then 
the prospect still insists on the brochure. You ask them, what's it going to take for us to move forward? Let the prospect talk. That's the trick. Mm. <laughs> Which is the coach and really reflect on ilo dito. Kaya, maganda kasi natural lighting dito. Eh. Now, back to the discussion. Back to the discussion. So, that's it. So, that's the, um, that's the gist of uh, the objection of the week. If the prospect asks for the brochure, ask them, what's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? Okay? I say you're also you're playing safe kasi kung ngari uh, nagmamadali yung prospect. You should be playing safe by asking that question. By countering with that, ano, with that, uh, with that rebuttal. Right? Well, that ends another episode. Don't forget the drill. Hit that to subscribe. Hit the bell and comment with done. Right? Now, you have comments uh, regarding uh, this week's featured blog post or the objection of the week. Feel free to comment. All right? Let's talk about it. Okay? So, thank you for watching up to this point and I'll see you in the next episode.